Because that's what you, that's the right thing to do is leave them the fuck alone. Because if you can't accept the fact that that's, that's a part of that person, they're a smoker, then don't fucking goddamn fuck with them. Because you're gonna, you're gonna fucking upset their homeostasis with your bullshit. Here I come, here I come, here I come. Anyway, no, for reals, here I come with some more bullshit. <laughs> with some more bullshit. For real, because I, I got a question. I do. I got a question. Why y'all be tripping about motherfuckers smoking when you don't smoke or you're a limited smoker or you don't smoke as much as your... I'm, I want to talk about couples. Fuck people. Fuck people. Let's talk about couples. Why the fuck... All right. I'm just going to put... I'm going to put rolls on this motherfucker, okay? If you the man in a relationship, I'm talking to you. If you the woman in a relationship, I'm talking to you. If you the non-smoker or the more the, the more uh, lenient smoker, like you don't fucking smoke like that, you just hit it every now and then. Let me tell you something. Leave us smokers the fuck alone. I'm tired of you bitches talking about why you gotta be high to do this. Why you gotta be high to do that. Why you gotta be high to go to the picnic. We can't go somewhere without you smoking. Let me tell you something. No, we can't. We don't want to. Because we have to smoke to keep from smacking the shit out of you or anybody the fuck else that want to goddamn have something to motherfucking say about us goddamn smoking. Because I don't understand why motherfuckers got such a problem with people being their damn self. Why do motherfuckers got a problem with people being their self? I smoke before I go to the store. I smoke before I go to church. If I'm going to go to church, I don't even go to church. I'm just using examples, okay? Don't quote me on this shit. I smoke before I go to school. I smoke while I'm in school. I'm on my line school and then I smoke right there. Right there I smoke. I smoke before I take my parents to the doctor. I smoke when I come home. If I got a weed pen, I smoke while I'm at the doctor. If I have a weed pen, I smoke while I'm on the fucking plane. I smoke before I go to the airport. I smoke when I leave the airport. I smoke. I smoke before I go to the concert. I smoke before I go to the graduation. I smoke before I go to the motherfucking restaurant. I smoke before I go on the date. I smoke while I'm on the date. If you don't like it, don't fucking date. I smoke while I fuck. You got a problem with that? Don't fuck me. Don't fucking bother me about smoking. I don't understand this shit. And then people be like, oh, like, oh, you can't be around me unless you smoke. Stop coming for the weed, bro. Well, y'all, y'all, listen. Stop coming for the fucking weed. That shit is not attractive. And don't ever ask a motherfucker to choose between you and weed, cause they gonna choose weed. They not gonna choose you. They not gonna choose you. Period. In no, in no kind of way are you gonna get chose. They gonna overlook you. And they gonna choose Mary Jane. They ain't gonna choose you. Stop coming for people who smoke. That shit is like somebody coming for you for being somebody who like to eat at McDonald's or somebody who like to fucking eat bullshit or you like to eat Twinkies and break cakes. Shit that's bad for your teeth. Or if you smoke cigarettes or you drink alcohol or we don't like your perfume or your cologne. That means stop coming for motherfucker. It's shit you do that though, that annoy us, but we don't fucking sit up there and be like, why you gotta goddamn snort every time you like? Why you fart in your sleep? Why the fuck you? Why the fuck you dream you in the bathroom and pee all over me? I done did that shit <laughs> several times. Why? Why is why is you coming for us? If you don't like the fact that your mate smokes, don't bother that person. You should go be with someone who doesn't smoke. I'm going to smoke. I'm going to smoke before the the wedding. I'm going to smoke before the funeral. I'm going to smoke before the therapy session. I'm going to smoke after the therapy session too. I'm going to smoke.
I'ma smoke before I go to the liquor store. If I got my weed pen, I'ma smoke in the liquor store. I'ma smoke after the damn symphony. I'ma smoke before the symphony. Before the play and after the play. Before the event and after the event. I'm gonna go to the birthday party and I'm gonna smoke before the birthday party. Understand that shit. How many percents is in here? Nine. Oh, that's not gonna do nothing. Ain't nothing, ain't gonna do nothing but tickle me. Like it's doing, it's tickling me. That's it's all it's gonna do. But listen, on some real shit, y'all gotta start coming for motherfuckers. Especially if you like in a relationship with somebody and they wanna smoke their weed before they go somewhere, leave them the fuck alone, okay? Cause that's what you, that's the right thing to do is leave them the fuck alone. Because if you can't accept the fact that that's, that's a part of that person, they're a smoker, then don't fucking goddamn fuck with them. Because you're gonna you're gonna fucking upset their homeostasis with your bullshit, and it ain't even nothing fucking personal. People be taking it personal, like, oh my god, she shouldn't want to smoke just to be around me. She shouldn't want to smoke just to come to my house. I want you to come over one time when you haven't smoked. Why, bitch? You ain't never gonna see me when I ain't smoked, hoe, ever in your fucking life. I'm telling you, when they find my body, <laughs> I'm gonna have a blunt in my hand. <laughs> I'm going to be 192 years old. My great grandkids going to find me. <laughs> and they're going to be like, Mama, you never believed that great grandma had a blunt in her hand. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to stop smoking, in other words. So you need to sit your ass down. Because people have their reasons for what they do. Motherfuckers don't necessarily want to talk about every goddamn thing understand it and, and don't don't judge nobody because they want to smoke they weed before they go somewhere because that's just what it is man because I, I know one thing i don't want nobody and i ain't gonna be around nobody who wants to criticize me for doing what i do and that just being a hunt you don't need to be around me if you feel like you have to criticize me because I want to smoke. Because I'm going to do what I want to do. You ain't going to have nothing to say about what I got, what I want to do. And if you ladies. Because I cause I deal with ladies, okay? So I can't speak about fucking niggas. Ladies. Y'all stop fucking with, with whoever you with if they smoke. Talking about why they got to be high to go somewhere. Because they do, okay? We got to be high. Because that's what we want. And to keep, to be in a straight place, in a calm place, it is what it is. It's going to be that. Don't be mad. And you stop trying to tell people what to do. People are who they are when you meet them. Just because we meet you don't mean we're going to fucking change, bro. Stop. Y'all stop that shit. Stop. Quit trying to change people. People are who they're going to be when you meet them. Leave us the fuck alone. <laughs> Leave us alone. That's all you got to do. And appreciate you, Ron, for this bottle. My nigga. I couldn't even get down on it that night you came to give me the reading, but I'm getting down on it now, my nigga. And it's delicious, and I'm feeling it, and I'm happy. But anyway, y'all like it, motherfucking subscribe, all right? Um, and, and just know that I ain't up here to throw no shade. I'm just speaking real shit. Like and subscribe. I'm out. <laughs>